So Hamlet and uh, Osric uh, were talking about uh, why uh, Osric is there to talk to Hamlet, and they're talking about uh, Laertes' weapon. And uh, Osric just said uh, um, they are rapiers and rapier and dagger. Next. Hamlet. That's two of his weapons, but well. Okay. Uh, so that um, uh, Osric, uh, Claudius probably told Osric to uh, use uh, Laertes' skills to pique uh, Hamlet's interest. You get this? Don't 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 try to don't don't mention Claudius in it. Uh, you just want to say um, Laertes is so good at the, all of these skills, or whatever, and then. Hamlet probably will get itchy and say, you know, well, I'll try it with him. But uh -huh. obviously, uh, Osric is not the guy to do it. He doesn't have the language to do this. You see this? Yeah. You need, you need, um, okay, you want certain people, you want to sort of, um, okay, everybody will have our thinking and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. You want to run other people's thinking into, cer in a certain way, right? Into your way. Uh -huh. You have to be smarter than the guy. And you have to be patient and work with him. Right, work yeah. with their thinking and try to it, w whether you can lead him to think certain ways. Yeah, mm -hmm. what we call this is manipulation, okay, or brainwashing. Okay, not a great thing, but anyway, uh, uh, Claudius probably asked uh, 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 Osric to do that to Hamlet. You want to do it, you have to be smarter, and your subject has to be dumber. Okay, mm -hmm. for instance, like in in a country in China, the, the, everybody they teach them really nonsense in elementary school, uh, whatever, all the way to college. Uh -huh. But they teach certain people real things, what the world really like. Okay. Sure. Now that's been gen I mean, thousand, a couple thousand years, that's what they were, they were doing. So then all the ruling class, okay, you can manipulate people's thinking because they're dumber than you. Okay. <laughs> it? It's a very sick country, which is still doing it now in China, I mean. Um, then, uh, but then you, ha you you see the United States um, education system. They don't really teach you what the money is, right? What is the skill needed to make money and all that? Creativeness, re in rela in relation to money, they don't teach you that because teachers probably don't know that. They're just government employees, right? Mm -hmm. um, but that's another thing, all right? You you want to you want well anyway. W this is probably off this a little bit. Uh, what were we talking about? Uh, it's two. Of, okay, n uh, never mind. Just go. Next. Osric, the king, sir, hath waggered him with six Barbie oh, horses. Waggered. We used that oh, word so many times. Oh, shit. Wagered. Wagered. We, we did that word so many times. You know what wager mean? I don't know. Oh. Gave? I wager. No, I wager. Uh, let's say Leo something. I say you, you're wrong. I wager, you know, what five dollars. What does wager mean? Bet. Yeah, right. Then, uh, the the problem is, Osric has to get, well, Osric obviously is sent by Claudius, right, to talk to uh, Hamlet. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, Osric been struggling very hard, uh, very hard not to mention Claudius, right? Uh-huh. But then, yeah, Osric yeah. cannot get it to the point. You see that? Because yeah. his, his language is not exactly the point, and then, Hamlet just lead the language in the wrong direction, just make have fun with him, with his head, right? Uh -huh. And now Osric totally know that he's not gonna play this with Hamlet, but then he's no way. He has no way to to get this thing on, get this conversation on the right track, right? Yeah. So finally, he took out Claudius. <laughs> See this? That he's uh -huh. he, he's screwing around. It's probably Claudius told him that. Uh -huh. And then otherwise, why why do you just want you know King want to have a, uh, want you to have a fight and he has a wager or whatever? Why don't you just come right out and say that? It's probably Claudius told him, "Don't mention me." That screwed up, uh, Osric royally. You understand that, right? Uh huh. Uh okay. Uh okay. Let's see what uh, Claudius wagered. Next. You already said six. six oh, like say. Barbary horses. Those are Arabian horses. They're very good horses. Okay, next. What? Next. Oh, uh, the, I mean, six Arabian horses. That's that's a lot of money. Next. Uh, you you're saying that's what? Nothing. 
Next. Against the witch he has in pond, as I take it. Okay. Um, who's he? The um king. Against the, yeah, against the witch, against those six horses. Okay, it has to be against Claudia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can be the king. He has in pawn. What do you mean? What do you mean? You know, uh, have you ever seen pawn shops around here? No. You probably don't see. It. You know, you want what what a pawn shop do? No. What? Let's say you're out of money, right? Uh huh. But you work for somebody, so the, in the end of the month you get paid. Uh -huh. So two weeks, you, you you have. Let's say you have no money to buy food, right? You got you got kids. Uh huh. What do you do? Take out your gold watch, or whatever the worth any money. Okay. Uh huh. Uh, you go to the pawn shop. You give it to them. You say, okay, I need a hundred dollars for this two two weeks of food or whatever else. Okay. The pawn shop take the watch. It's probably worth two thousand dollars. Let's just say, okay, you probably your gold rings or something. Okay. Then they take in this gold watch. They give you. Hundred dollars, okay? Yeah. At the end of the month, you come back with a hundred and twenty dollars, maybe a hundred and ten. Oh, two weeks. Let's say two weeks, right? They don't. They don't. They don't charge the that kind of interest. They they charge that kind of interest is illegal, probably. Uh, two weeks, they charge you ten percent, so they charge you fees, okay? Uh, they say, okay, uh, five dollar interest, and uh, let's say twenty dollar fees, okay? In other words, you come back with one hundred and twenty five dollars. Okay, I give you the gold watch back. Got it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is this is a pawn shop still. I, those numbers are all fake, okay? And we we probably never been to the pawn shop, so never in my life, so I don't really know how how they do business, but that's the concept, okay? He has in pound means he has given the following things that he 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 wagered to give to somebody else. You understand this? Uh-huh. What the reason for that is Okay, yeah, you said you, you're going to put up whatever. How am I going to know? Get it? Yeah. So you in pawn it, you give it to a pawn shop, let's say. Or we we, uh, we call it escrow. But anyway, we call that kind of business escrow. You, do you see escrow companies? Escrow? Oh, you, you're like nothing. Going I'll point those out to you, okay, when we go walk across. But anyway, he has given it to somebody, okay, to hold the, hold the stuff. In other mm -hmm. words, he cannot just say, okay, I, I'm going to, wager six Barbary horses that I have right here. And before the thing, I sell these Barbary horses. And, well, I don't have any horses. You see that? Uh -huh. You put these, you give the horses to um, to an escrow, to somebody else, okay? That person holds the six horses. So when you're done, then you go, you know, you divvy up the money. You ever seen those gambling things, gambling houses, that people just give their cash to somebody else, and that somebody else holds a whole stack of cash? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. You say you, you bet money. You don't. You give the money right now. The money you bet. Okay? And then after the shop, if you win, they'll give you your money back and then give you what, whatever you win. Yeah? That's called in pawn. Let's see what in pawn. Uh, oh, as I take it, maybe he didn't do it. Okay? Whatever it is. Whichever part he didn't do it. Either he didn't in pawn or the, the thing he didn't bet. But anyway, next. Six French, French rapiers. And, and Ponier. Ponier is a small dagger. Next. Yeah, I know. Which, with their assigns. Okay, what's the signs? Like assign some like accessories. job to do. Like accessories. Oh. Other things that come with it, like the sheaths and stuff. Uh, okay, and then he's ex explaining that next. As girdle. girdle. Which is a kind of a belt or cord and stuff. Next. Hangers. And okay. So. Okay. Uh. Okay. Next. What's hangers? Hangers is probably the mechanism you, you, you hang the the sheaths on, on your belt. Oh! Next. Yeah, I have that thing. Yeah, next. Three of the carriages. Okay, in three carriages, okay. In faith are very dear to fancy. Oh, very, very nice. The, very nice three carriages. Next. Very responsive to the hilt. Hilt is the, uh, is a kind of a handle. Next, most, most deli delicate carriages. You understand what delicate means? Like fragile. fragile. Yeah, very nice. Delicate means um, with all the very fragile decorations. Very nice detail. They were saying only the detailed um, uh, decoration make it uh, delicate, right? 
then you don't want to really screw it with it because the more detailed, the smaller the pieces are, the easier to get it knocked off, right? Yeah. Uh, next. And a very liberal conceit. Conceit is kind of a design. Okay, liberal means a very elegant, very nice, creative. Next. Hamlet, what call you the carriages? What do you think the carriages are? Uh huh. What do you think? Some carriage, a horse pulls. Yeah. Next. Let's see. Horatio, I knew you must be edified by the margin air you had done. <laughs> okay, yeah, you know that. Yeah, before, uh, um, okay, in uh, Shakespeare's time, okay, when they print a book, well, actually, whatever, you probably can't call it print, but when they do a book or something, okay, on the margin, okay, they define the words that they think is strange or you won't understand. Okay, uh, still done in China this way. In Chinese, mm -hmm. when when they use sort of some slang or whatever, they don't expect your general reader to know. They write uh, they write a note at the bottom. In China, they don't write it on the margin; they write it on the bottom of the page, as a footnote. Okay. Okay. Uh, Americans typically don't do that. They just they just state it, you know, put a clause in there, you know, a words you don't you, nobody understand, right? You just say something in there, which means whatever. Okay, to un to explain it right in the text. You yeah. don't you don't know it on the uh, off the page, off the main text. Um, uh, let's see. I uh, I knew you must be edified by the margin. Okay, that's what it means. Okay, um, the the, the uh, error you had done. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, by, uh, you understand what that means, right? I I know that you you means uh, Osric. You must be edified by margin means. Your statement, you, the Osric was saying things, right? Mm -hmm. On the margin of his statement, there has to be some definitions. What yeah. Carriages, you know, they, they say carriages. Like the, on the margin of the uh, of the page, you say carriages means whatever. You understand this? Error you had done. I know this is going to have a problem. You wanna, we're going to have this problem before you're done talking. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Next. Osric, the carriages, you, sir. sir. Are the hangers. Okay. Uh, next. Hamlet. The phrase would be more germane to the matter if we could carry a cannon by our side. <laughs> okay, you know what I mean, <laughs> right? It w it's more germane to the thing that we carry cannon with. You know, What's no germane? Germane is more related, more, um, uh, yeah. The, the word. The phrase of carriages will be more uh, germane and connected. Uh, germane, I think, it, what it means is like a, um, a little plants growing from a seed. So germane means, um, I'm not sure of that. Probably I should look that up. Germane means uh, more uh, uh, native to that. Okay. Let's just say, okay, to the... Um, to the matter if we could carry a cannon by our side. I mean, you, you, you've seen those two wheel carriages, right? You put a cannon on top of it. Yeah. Then yeah. you carry, you pull it. Yeah. That's a carriage. And, and Hamlet is saying, when you say carriage, I w I'm thinking of that. Next. I wouldn't might be hangers till then. Okay. So I, I want to uh, call it a uh, hanger for, for, from, from, uh, from now on, okay? Uh, till then, until we we put a, we're talking about something, we can put a cannon on it. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next. Uh, but on six barbarians. Okay, but on means. Uh, but anyway, next. But six. Me, but, sorry, sorry. But on means. But let's go on. Okay. Next. Six barbary horses against six French swords. Their assigns. And three liberal conceited carriages. Okay. That's the French, French bet against, against the, the Danish. Danish. Okay. First of all, uh, well, it's probably not much that uh, Hamlet remembered all those things, right? Um, he's making fun of French people. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, that's uh, French people don't not generous people. <laughs> they bet. Uh, they bet a French sword against six horses. 
He said that's a French bet against the Danish. <laughs> Danish, they, he's well, Hamlet's a Dane, right? He's I mean, Danish people are generous people. We put up a lot to gamble on something. We put six horses, and that guy just put on a sword, or maybe two swords. How many swords? Yes. Oh yeah, one six. sword, one one long, one short. No, no, no six horses. Oh, right here yeah. on dagger. One dagger. Right? So you put on two swords against six horses. Are you kidding? Okay. Uh huh. That's what he's saying. That's the French bet against the Danish. Okay. Uh huh. Uh, uh, that's it, right? That that's kind of easy to understand. What what next? Why is this all in pond as you call it? Okay. Also, the, the king, king sir. See, so we we're, were talking about wager. We're not never talk about what's this wager wager against, right? Yeah. You typically talk about what's a wager is about before you talk about what is being wagered, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What what's the deal? I mean, right? Yeah. You don't yeah. even know the deal. You talk about what kind of thing they put up. That's kind of you know, the logic is kind of for us. We want to know what's a bet, right? I mean, yeah. not your what, not your wager, but what what are you betting against? What what yeah. you're betting about next? Yeah. Next. Um, has laid, sir, that in a dozen passes between yourself and him. Okay. Um. Uh, so it's Hamlet's asking, what is all these wagers about? And then this hat on being, I mean, uh, Osric's being at this, I mean, at the, at the point that he's totally confused, though. So, uh, he has to wait for Hamlet to ask that precise question that for him to say that the king wagered for 12 rounds of uh, fencing between uh, Hamlet and uh, Laertes, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And next. Uh, he shall not exceed you three hits. Okay, this is the problem. Um, okay, he is obviously Laertes, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You read this sentence, okay? He, Laertes. Shall not exceed you three hits. Okay, first of all, you you every round end up with a hit. Okay, you yeah. keep on fighting until somebody took a hit, and and then the the one that's hitting wins the point or the round. Got it? Yeah. Okay, now. Laertes shall not exceed you three hits. You read this sentence, means. Laertes. Will not exceed. Uh, Laertes hit number of hits, right? And your yeah. number of hits, you compare them to. Laertes will not exceed you three hits. That means who's who's hitting who more? Laertes, Hamlet hitting Laertes more. Yeah, means uh, you means Hamlet, obviously, right? Mm -hmm. Let's put it this way. Uh, Laertes shall not exceed Hamlet, right? Yeah. That means Hamlet will exceed Laertes. Yeah. So it means Hamlet will exceed Laertes in hits, three hits. And that is wrong, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Because uh, they're saying that Laertes is stronger. So stronger, what we call, um, uh, you play odds, right? Because two people, if one is stronger than, uh, let's say, Leo plays you, right? You guys play right. Mm -hmm. Even odds is is unfair because I'll I'll bet bet on Leo. Okay, what about twelve to one? You guys play tennis, right? I you, I put for Leo, I put twelve dollar, I win one dollar. For you, I put one dollar, I win twelve. Okay, then I probably will bet on you because one in one in twelve chance you beat him in tennis. One one of the odd chance, right? You can beat him. You understand? This is odd we're talking about, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the odd here is that you will win more games. The stronger guy win more games to win the wager. We put up this wager, right? You want to win? You, you, the stronger guy has to win more games, right? Yeah. So you, you say that uh, you exceed him three hits. I mean, Hamlet exceed uh, Laertes three hits. That is wrong. Right? Yeah. So we're, he's talking about uh, probably Laertes will exceed Hamlet three hits. Not not exceed. Right? Mm -hmm. Not not exceed means not greater. Okay. Not mm -hmm. greater means less or equal. Mm -hmm. Okay. But since we have 12 hits, 12, okay. 12 hits, you're talking about exceeding three is eight to four, right? Eight to four exceed four, right? 
Seven to five, which is the next one, you will exceed two, right? So there's no three hits business in here. You cannot exceed exactly three, right? With twelve rounds, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, not exceed you three hits. Let's say um, the bet is for uh, Laertes to exceed three hits over Hamlet, right? That means Laertes has to do has to win eight to four, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next. Uh, he had played twelve for nine. Okay, here's the problem. He's t he just he just did not exceed you three hits, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now there's twelve for nine. He's laid on you. Well, here's probably um. Uh, the he probably is uh who? Laertes. Okay. Uh, he has laid on, laid on. Uh, that's uh probably Claudius. He's laid on. on. I mean, he's oh. wagering. On twelve for nine, okay. So mean it means Laertes wins nine, then he will win. Then he got he has laid on twelve for nine. Means he means uh the king has laid down twelve for nine. Now, the question is, well, twelve for nine, that means nine to three, which is not in the picture. Yeah. Um, not in the eight to four, seven to five big business, right? Mm -hmm. Let's just say he has laid down twelve for nine. So if uh, it is nine to three, who wins? Uh, he Hamlet. Ha yeah. Uh, well, yeah. That's uh, that's what uh, uh, King has laid down, right? That's, yeah. That appears to be the statement, right? Yeah. King has laid on uh, twelve or nine. I mean, yeah, twelve or nine. In other words, if twelve or nine, the king will win, right? Yeah. In other words, uh, uh. Hamlet only need to win three out of the twelve rounds to win, uh -huh. and we know this is not going to make any sense because after Hamlet won the first two, they went on to the next next one. Oh yeah, then yeah, actually, actually, that's probably that's not 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 going to be a problem because Hamlet needs to win three to win, right? Yeah. But anyway, this is all not consistent. The the. This guy, uh, Osric, probably is not really good at arithmetic. Get it? Yeah. And he got his number. He he just put out two sentences, and th these numbers don't mean uh, don't don't match. Got it? Mm -hmm. Next. Uh. And it would come to immediate trial if okay. your lordship would vouch the answer. Okay. Vouch. Vouch. Or vouch safe. Vouch safe. Vouch safe. Okay. Um. Well, uh, what? What's vouchsafe? Vouchsafe, you vouch, you you promise, you oh. you grant. Um, next. Ham vouch, you give an answer. You know, you you actually you give an answer. That's not. Look at this sentence, right? It will come to an immediate trial if your lordship will vouchsafe the answer. What if the answer is no? You still go to the trial. If you answer me, then there will be an immediate trial of who can see who's better. Uh huh. Right? What about if the answer is no? You still immediately go to trial. You see, this guy, Osric, is totally out of it. His sentence is totally out of it. Next. Hamlet, how if I answer no? See, that's exactly the point. We still go to the immediate trial? <laughs> Next. I mean, my oh, yeah. lord. No. That's yeah. Correcting yeah. himself. Yeah. The no sound the margin. Next. The opposition of your person in trial. Does it really clarify the thing? Nope. <laughs> I mean, my lord, the opposition of your person in trial. You not really. This guy did not understand what his problem was on the first on that sentence. And he has no idea what Hamlet is asking. Okay? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And he took it as, uh, I mean, my lord, the opposition of your person in trial. He's, he thought, I mean, Osric thought that it's, it's like misunderstanding is at, is at who against who in the trial. Okay. And uh, what is, you understand the, the, the use of the word trial, right? Yeah, like you go to court and all that stuff. Yeah, trial is, it, it comes from the word try. You try something, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, 
like you 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 try on this this T-shirt, you know, to see、mm-hmm. if it fits. It, 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 trial means um uh in court it means you know you you tell me what you want and then you know the other side tells what they want and then、mm-hmm. you you grab twelve people from the street to decide who's right or who's wrong, right? Yeah.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is kind of a meaning of the word try. Okay. Okay. Which which is which is pretty consistent with try on the the clothes because you try it on then you say okay this is good that's bad whatever then you make a conclusion right yeah、mm-hmm. yeah next Hamlet、mm-hmm. sir if I walk here in the hall if it pleases His Majesty it is the breathing time of day with me all right we just talk about、uh, Hamlet being in. Uh, what's it called indiscretion? There, there was a word. No, no, not today. Probably yesterday or something.、Uh, there's a word、uh, indiscretion or something.、Uh, yeah, he he want to kill him. He just want to throw away all the indiscretion and and do it. Hamlet knew that Claudia is trying to kill him, right? Yeah. And now Claudia is asking him something. Oh, by the way, let's explain this.、Uh, you, do you understand this thing? My breathing time and all. No,、nope. I will, sir. I will walk here in the hall. Okay, if it please His Majesty, I will walk to the hall. Okay, in the hall. Okay, means I will. I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna in fencing. You walk around, right? You, yeah. You sort of chase around, whatever. It is a breathing time of the day with me because this, this is his time to get exercise. So I'm gonna exercise anyway. I'll I'll walk. Okay, I'll I'll walk with Laertes. Uh huh. So to speak. Okay. This is a problem. He didn't come around and think what is going on, and then said yes to a request by Claudius, Claudius. who was trying to kill him. He 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 know it. He knows it. You get、mm-hmm. it? Yeah. All tragedies. Well, some tragedy like a, you know airplane crash. Probably you you can't you know the people the passengers you you probably will have no sign of it. Right, you you wouldn't be able to prevent, but a lot of tragedies you can prevent. Okay. Like you cross the street, right? Uh huh. Then that car run into you. The car, the car is the problem. Okay, the car, you have the right of the way. You can cross the street, but the car run ran over you, right? It's your、mm-hmm. life. It's your life. His 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 mistake, sure, but it's your life. You can prevent it, not crossing. You see that car coming, don't cross. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. Got it. And this is one of those things. And Hamlet saw the car coming. He didn't avoid.、Oh、he went with it. This he's saying it is the breathing time of the day with me. You see this? Yeah.、Mm-hmm. Discretion you need it all the time, especially when you are adversary with some somebody, somebody, which means you're fighting with somebody. Okay.、Right? The somebody here is one. They want your life. Nowadays we just you know the people do the adversary things is lawyers, right? All you do you lose the, you lose your case. Okay. Nobody really. Wow.、Well, unless you kill a whole bunch of people, and you're not gonna. Well, very, very few people、uh, will get death penalty. Okay. So、Kay. nobody will die. Here, we、we'll、just talk about you know somebody lose some money. Okay. Okay.、Mm-hmm. Uh, where are we? Let the foils be. Okay.、Right. Let、yeah. the foils be brought. Foils are swords. Right. <laughs> Good. Thank you. How did you know that? Because we did arms we did and foils、so、in the yeah, first. Yeah, 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 yeah.、Uh, I remember now. Whatever. Okay. The gentleman willing and the king hold his purpose. Okay, he put out three conditions, so to speak. Okay, the the foils are、uh, were brought are brought. The gentleman willing means Laird. He's willing to fight, and the king hold his purpose. King still w- want to do this wager. Uh huh. I will win for him, and I can. Okay, I'll I'll win for Claudius, and I can. Okay, that's what it means. Next. If not, I'll gain nothing but my shame and the odd hits. Okay. Uh, the odd hits means the one that you know you lose, you you take some hit, right? Yeah. yeah. And in those days, uh, when you do fencing, you when you take a hit, although there is a button that's attached to the the foil,、uh-huh. you still hurt a little bit if they poke you really hard. Okay. Okay. Those are you. You have some certain kind of like a, you know, sort of a defensive gear, but you still, you you can still hurt a little. Next. Isaac, shall I deliver you so?、Uh, should I quote you? Okay, this is another. You know,、uh, this is another. Deliver you means the,、um, 
sanity. Okay, here Osric means quote next. Uh, Hamlet. Hamlet. To this effect, sir, shall what flourish your nature will. Okay. Next. Oh, oh yeah, you you understand to this effect, you know, to the effect of what we're talking about. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can do it after what flourish your nature will. After you add up all the fancy words. Okay. Okay. Did you get it before I explain it? Nope. Okay. Nope. Next. Okay. I should do it next. Osric, I command my duty to your lordship. Alright, that's just blah blah blah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh yeah. Wait 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 wait. Is your command with an e or with an a? E. E. Okay. Um. Command my duty means you know. Command. Uh, I command with you a. to. With a. What does command with an e mean? Like command. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it means praise. Okay. Okay. Praise my duty. Well, this is all wrong. You understand this? Okay. And if you're an actor, you want to do this very clearly, and you want people to actually audience to get. You're saying command, not command. Okay. Command. You're using big command. words. People use big words that's too big for them. Super they got into these problems. Yeah. Next. Hamlet, yours. Okay. Exit. Or. You know what yours mean? Neil. Yours, like your. Oh. He's saying, I command my duty, okay? Okay? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Hammond said, I command your duty. I command yours. Yours. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Means I praise your duty. Okay. And that's not what uh, Osric meant. Uh huh. Okay, next. Osric exits. Okay, then that's it. 